Hi guys, it's Lars, uh, back in the poly tunnel. It's gonna do a bit more work on the raised bed, probably not uh, as much as uh, yesterday. Oh, it's uh, day 18 now. Yeah, it's going well. I, had, uh, I made like a ton of soup the other day, so I've just been eating soup for the last two days. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna try and do is this, uh, this bed here. Uh, when I filled it up with water uh, the other day, uh, it's way too deep, it comes up to about 6 inches. So what I need to do is lift that up over the water level. The water level in the entire system is maintained by this overflow. So what I need to do is lift this up so that the, the maximum water level is above that. Uh, and then in these two beds, the water level is determined by the overflows in here, not by this one. So this one, the this overflow here sets the um, the water level in the bottom of the wicking beds and then the individual overflows in the bottom of these set their water depth and all of it feeds from the overflow there. Okay so I'm going to start doing that, I'm going to make some wooden blocks to put underneath and block it up another two or three inches and uh, so when I get back we'll have a look at that. Now unfortunately <laughs> We've got no power out here, so I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Uh, have a piece of two by three. Uh, was it one and a half by? Might be one and a half by uh, two actually. It's one and a half by two and a half-ish. I have no idea what size of a bit of wood this is. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to cut this into two blocks, and we're going to use that to jack up the grow bed. That is the bluntest saw ever. That's why I got a power saw. Okay, so let's uh, let's get on with jacking up this raised bed. Okay, so I've just uh, undone the plumbing fitting at this end, and then I'm going to lift up that end and tip most of the water out, so it's a bit easier to, uh, for us to work with. Right, so we've now got much less water in this. Okay, we just had the power go out a couple of times and uh, I went off to have a look at that. And uh, so I've now got the lights on. I'm gonna try and do as much work as I can, but if it keeps going off, I'm gonna give up on today. Uh, so what I'm gonna try and do now is, uh, we got the bench lifted up. Fortunately, the, uh, the lights are out, so we didn't really film that. So that's now the right height. Uh, I'm going to get some, I've got some 20 mil pipe and we're going to do the feeds for the two for the, uh, the two row beds here. So I'm going to try and get that done. And what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll do the work and then come back and film it because uh, the lighting in here is obviously going on and off, not really very useful for doing long bits of film. Okay, so I'll uh, see you in a second. Okay, so here's the finished thing. We've got an upright for this bed, an upright for the middle bed, 
and uh, an upright that goes into I'm really not going to be able to see this in the dark but this elbow here which has a reducer fitted into the bottom so I realised I've just had a bit of a special <laughs> a special moment here womp womp alright guys this is the day 18 is it 18 now? oh god yeah this is the Alright guys, this is the day 18 update video. Uh, I've got that plumbed in, I've just now got the pumps back on, cycling the water through. Um, it takes a little while for everything to fill back up again, so we should be able to see that tomorrow. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.